to me. Oh. Hey everyone, uh, how are you doing? Oh, I look really tired. No, uh, you don't look that tired. I look like, ooh. Anyways, Not bad. hey everyone, this is Todd. Hey, hey Todd. Here we are in New York. Yeah. Live in New York. Live in New York. It's Rehan and Todd. There you go. So they're going to New Jersey uh, to try to speak, uh, make meet a pastor to convince him to try to let us speak to 1,500 people of his in the fourth largest church of New Jersey. And uh, we're thankful to uh, Pastor Sharon for helping us do this, which whose video I posted on Sunday uh, to you know, uh, what's Christianity and what's, uh, what, what was the other one? What was last week? Thanks, no, last week was Easter. Easter. So yeah, what was Easter video? So you can see we have 20 people now live watching us. Awesome. And you have these people, Wassam Bukhari, for example, is in Palestine. Uh, and these people are joining in. Uh, watching us live. This guy's in. God Florida. bless you all, my prayers for you. Inshallah, this world will be a better place someday because of people like Rehan and hopefully you. And hopefully Todd. Inshallah. No, not hopefully Todd. Todd, Todd Insh makes a huge difference. Inshallah. Uh, so yeah, we're in New York City. We're going to Jersey. And you can see we're stuck in the New York traffic. We will be stuck in New York traffic early a lot. And this is uh, one of those tall buildings. Of New York City. Oh, you can show them my window. Yeah, we will do that once we get in the boring part. Of the town. <laughs> we're the, nothing. <laughs> it's like we're having us uh, our own sign field, right? <laughs> I show about nothing. <laughs> so yeah, look at that really large billboard thingy. I think they're construction doing on something and making money off nothing over there. Uh, hello, Todd. Gola saying, hello Todd. So my battery is very low and I'm trying to convince Todd to do this from his phone. So if you're not Todd's follower yet, uh, I have tagged him and please go and follow him on Facebook. So you can, uh, you can all see him uh, when he goes live. And I'm trying, again, as I said, I'm trying to convince him to go live. On, uh, on Facebook. Inshallah. Inshallah. Again, he's become a real Pakistani. You know, he's like, Inshallah everything. <laughs> How long have you been in Pakistan, Todd, now? Oh, I've been there for 10 years, over 10 years now. Wow. I came with a group of Pakistani American doctors after the Zalzala. Uh -huh. And uh, the earthquake. Yes, built a team of, uh, of locals to do logistics and some doctors, and we. Uh, we worked in AJK for many years, helping the healthcare system be reestablished and uh, other good relief work. And then a lot of other disasters happened, like the SWAT uh, emergency in 2009 and floods in 2010. And, you know, of course, since, since then, there's been many problems. And we've tried to, uh, to do our best to help people there who need us. And we've done a pretty good job. We've helped about 2 million people get free health care in times of disaster and uh, we uh, inshallah will keep working uh, on more projects we have a women's empowerment project right now where ladies make really beautiful shawls and products in places like Tar Desert and SWAT and we help them connect to markets here in the United States and UK places where they can make more money and where we can raise funds with them for our mother child health projects and we also have a youth community service project that a lot of kids out there will be interested in called CDRS Youth, and it's a non-political platform for youth community service in uh, cities and towns all across Pakistan, and uh, we're going to eventually do it worldwide, hopefully, but it's basically things like uh, planting flowers and trees, uh, rescuing kutas and billies, um, you know, uh, painting and building playgrounds and cleaning up trash, recycling, and anything that that youth group in that particular area decides it wants to do to improve the community together. Uh, so these are the things that we're doing. A lot of photos on my personal page and on my CDRS page, which you can go to facebook.com uh, forward slash CDRS uh, PK, and uh, you'll see a lot of uh, information about the work that we're doing. So that's about it. 
so how does the youth which is not connected to you connect to you and uh, help you reach your goal well they can follow us on facebook they can join our pages we have several pages for our chapters of cdrs youth they can look them up and they can send messages to us and be in touch and if they want to support a chapter or be a member of a chapter or if they want to donate time or money or do a fundraiser at their school uh, we can work with them on all of those things. We're looking for people who are committed, who want to do something to change um, the situation for humanity, uh, serve the community. People that are forward thinking and think big and are looking after not just themselves and their family, but who care about the whole community. And so we want to build that uh, and instill that within the youth and support that, engage with youth who want to do more uh, for uh for their whole community and uh, give them the tools and the opportunity to succeed in that. So how did you meet Junaid, for example? Junaid Nazir contacted me from Facebook and uh, for all I know, he might have been connected from you because you've connected me, me with so many people, uh, great people. And uh, so I met Junaid in, uh, online and then we set up a meeting in Karachi. We got together. I liked his thinking. I liked his... Uh, uh, his thinking about uh, supporting the community and educating children and just doing good work for the community that served uh, the needs of the most poor and, uh, and, and, and so I gave him an opportunity and he has shined, he's done very well and uh, he's done a lot of education projects, he's put a team of volunteers together that have uh, done a lot of work with um, giving computer lessons to younger children and cleaning up trash and planting flowers and trees. And then when the Karachi heat emergency happened, I was able to send him and his group to Abbasi Shahid Hospital. And I gave them some money and resources. They bought medicines and they supplied about 5,000 uh, US dollars, about five lakh worth of medicines to Abbasi Shahid Hospital. And for over a week, worked with the army there and other partners uh, to, uh, to do iftar dinners and give fruit and water and uh, food to the patients and to their attendants uh, and to the staff. So uh, we we actually received uh, Satara Karachi for that uh, mission. So uh, that really energized the young people that they were recognized for their work. So it made them want to do more, you know? And so they're out there doing more right now. Uh, just last week, um, uh, Junaid got back from uh, from uh, Tar Desert. Really energized the young people. All right, here we are. Now I'm now I'm seeing myself, and you're seeing me seeing myself. They're out there doing more right now. Just last crazy. But Junaid just got back from Tar Desert and from Balochistan, where he's doing some water projects. So just did an amazing young man, an amazing group of kids, and that's what I want to find more. I want to find more Junaid Nazirs in Pakistan because that's what we need in this. Uh, to, to, to make Pakistan as great as it can be so it can reach its full potential. So, Inamul Haq is asking, uh, what's his good name? His good name is Todd Shea, S-H-E-A. He is tagged on this video. You can see the status and it says that, uh, um, you know, what his name is. So there is another guy, Ali Dadu Allah. He's saying, please add me. And he's another Junaid for you, by the way. He oh, would be awesome. really, really cool for you in Dadu. Well, I'm already at my uh, list of 5,000 friends. Uh, you know, Facebook, unfortunately, doesn't allow for more than that. But you can still follow me. You can still uh, go to our pages and add yourself and message me. Uh, so uh, definitely you can still engage with me, even though the list is full. Right. Wissam Bukhari is from uh, Palestine. Yerusalem. Look at, show him that beautiful building, the Chrysler building. It's a very pretty building in New York that was uh, built in the 30s. There you go. So, I'm um, sorry, sorry to interrupt. You know, you but that's a, that building, the sharp one there. Oh, the, the very sharp building there. It looks like a needle, space needle. There you go. All right. Um, so Wissam is asking, when are you coming to Palestine to work with us? Well, I'm very busy in Pakistan. I'd love to work in Palestine. There's many places on the earth that I'd love to work, but right now our projects in Pakistan, we're so busy with that, and there's so much to be done 
that at the moment I don't have the funds, time, or resources to work anywhere else, but I'm hoping, inshallah, in the future that I could because uh, the, the Palestinian issue is a very, very uh, near and dear to my heart, and the Palestinian people are people that I pray for every day. I pray for Israel as well. I, I think that what their government is doing is actually bad for both the Palestinian people and Israeli people, and uh, I, I want to see uh, peace there uh, more than anything. So I would love to be able to do something for the, the people who are suffering there most, and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Hasib Abani is a friend. He says that he's a friend of Edi Saab. And he oh, I love Edi. He's also a good friend of mine. I've worked with Edi in, uh, after 2009 SWAT crisis, and I've visited Edi in Karachi many times. He's a just a, a huge hero for humanity and a, and, a, and a good friend. I love that guy. So he's saying, when are you coming back? I think Hasib, you should in June. connect. In June. And Hasib, you should connect uh, with um, Junaid. And you should meet him and work with him, you know, and graduate yourself to when Todd's there so you can meet him when he's there. Absolutely. Absolutely. That sounds like a, pl a good plan. Yeah, and Alid, you can do the same. You know, Alid already is helping CDRs, by the way. Achacha, Zabardust. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, Junaid has a great team that he's put together. I've met a lot of them, but there's also some new team members that he's brought on board I haven't had a chance to meet. So I'm looking forward to growing our chapters, not only in Karachi, but we've started them in Balochistan and in Interior Sin. Uh, of course, we have Islamabad in Karachi uh, and uh, Lahore. We have Hazara. Uh, lots of different places we're starting chapters. So anybody out there that wants to start a chapter in Pakistan, uh, you're more than welcome to work with us. Turning here on the 39th Street, we're going to go through the tunnel. The Holland Tunnel, under the uh, Lincoln Tunnel. The Lincoln Tunnel to New Jersey. And then it will be boring highway. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. Mostly, yeah. So, but you can enjoy the New York City restaurants and everything while we're driving here. Hey Salman Farooqi, if you're free, text me and I can text you the address where we're going. You're more than welcome to come. I think it's near your house. Shahzad Raza is asking any work for blind kid. I think Shahzad, if you run the chapter for CDRS Blinds, I think Todd would be happy to work with you and uh, help you raise funds. Todd's specialty is to enable people and, in, in, and not really do the work in his hand. He says himself as a connector. And you know he helps you raise funds and connect. And am I am so, I right? Absolutely. And because of technology, a person without sight now can do more than at any time in the history of mankind. And it's only growing and getting more and more uh, technology advancing. So um, as long as you're on a computer and you have a connection with the world, there's a lot that you can do with CDRS, and we'd love to have you on board. Salam to both of you, sir. I'm just asking: Is there any program for deaf kids? Uh, Rishad Khan, we have a website called enabledpk.com and it's designed for disabled people and you can go there and what we have done is we have listed all the uh, deaf and blind and all that kind of stuff over there so you can find what's going on in deaf. You can also uh, add my friend Sara Cohen uh, in my Facebook and she is deaf and her husband is deaf and she can teach you lots of things going on on the internet uh, related to deaf people. Uh, if you if you have some family with that. So those who have not been to New York, look at this, you know, it's around 5 p.m. So you will see a human brigade of humankind. Yeah, go running, show back to there. Running left and right because of the subway station. Um, they and everybody's like, getting off of work. Yeah, everybody's getting off work, running for the subway, and it's like a mosquito or like a beehive. Yeah, some kind. yeah that's what Manhattan is. Yeah. It's just a beehive of people. Yeah people behaving properly, improperly sometimes. Rehan Bhai, any friend from Uzbekistan? Uh, just write people from Uzbekistan on Facebook search and you will find many. You can also write Facebook friends of Rehan from Uzbekistan and you will find... I think I have a few people. I don't remember the names though. 
Rehan is Mr. Innovation, Mr. Vision, and Mr. Technology. And Mr. Weird. <laughs> Hey, you know, weird is good. Different is good. Mr. We all have to be different. If we were all the same, then it would be a really boring world and everybody would be so bored really quick, they'd probably, you know, just uh, be too bored to even want to survive. Yeah. But it's difficult to be different because people don't have the courage to be different. And that's mm -hmm. what we're trying to build here. We're trying to give you the courage to come out of your cocoon and become the butterfly you're supposed to be. And every butterfly is different than the other one. But most people want to be the cocoon. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal with the 500 friend thing. Sure. Well, you know, in life there's people that, uh, that want to conform uh, and just be one of the same. But then there's, there, there are people that are, you know, they're a little different. They're meant to be different. And sometimes they uh, have difficulty because they are different and they think differently and they do different things. But at the same time, some of the greatest people in humanity that have done some of the greatest things and discovered amazing things and done some of the best art and designed some of the greatest systems, those were the quirky people that were a little out there that everybody in the beginning when they were in high school or when they were young thought that they were weirdos that would never amount to anything. And then those are the people that have truly done great, great things. So, uh, you know, everybody out there, if you're a little different, embrace embrace being a little different and, uh, and go for it because you're probably gonna end up doing great things. And unfortunately, there's probably people who could have done great things who maybe weren't courageous enough to try and uh, they just tried to conform and they they just tried to go along to get along and maybe they were afraid to 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 try uh, to do th great things or maybe somebody discouraged them along the way and uh, made them feel as though they weren't important and uh, that's a, a shame because uh, I think humanity needs all of those those weird people out there um, but weird in the sense that they think differently uh, not weird in the sense that they're bad because there's bad weird but there's also good weird and uh, Rehan is good weird I try to be good weird and good uh, weird. the the you're thing not is you're not so weird. <laughs> well you're you know good way you are I think in and uh, you know I think uh, the the word weird has a a big definition but yeah you know people that think out of the box and do crazy things you know, people think I'm crazy for being in Pakistan, for having even gone right. in the first there place. You go. That's but if weird. I hadn't have done that, I would have never known how great the Pakistani people are. I would have never been able to accomplish with my team and with my friends there uh, all the things that we've been able to do that have made lives better. Um, and the more that we can do, the better it'll be for Pakistan until one day, hopefully, we'll all work together. All these people who have their their different organizations and different people, if they all work together, uh, we can solve the, the problems of Pakistan and there will eventually hit a tipping point where things are going in, in the right direction. And uh, you know, it's not just what we do in life, it's also what we don't do. So uh, what we don't do has an effect towards the negative. What we do do towards the positive obviously has an effect. What people do towards the negative. So everything you do, whether you do something or whether you don't do it, whether you do it in a positive way or in a negative way, has an effect on the sum total of, of what humanity uh, goes through in this world and where we take ourselves in the future. So everybody is an important part of that and God gave us all important gifts and it's up to us whether we use them or not. Cool. So be weird. Be, be weird. Good. Be good and be weird. Like Apple says, think different. Differently think. Yeah. Maybe CDRS uh, can think weird. Inshallah. <laughs> or, I don't know. Uh, Junaid Nazir is saying, Rayan Bhai, please ask Todd to take care of his health. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how I met Junaid, by the way? It's a really interesting story. I can't story. remember. And how I met him. Achha. I know I'm sure you met him through me, but I don't know if you know how I met him. It was a very weird experience. He's a, just a fine young man. Yeah. But go ahead, tell me about it. I'll tell you once we, you know, once we have more boring atmosphere. It'll be, once we get in the tunnel, it'll be pretty boring. Yeah. So for people 
know. But I don't know if we'll broadcast in the tunnel. I don't know. Well, we the will signal. get out of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. we will so get in. It's like a five-minute drive. We will eventually get out of the tunnel. That's for sure. Hopefully, inshallah. Huh. So as you can see, there's a lot of construction in New York City. New York City is getting uh, better and better by the day. It's becoming more expensive by the day because everybody in the planet wants to come to New York or London. Um, if you look at these bikes, these are one of the, you know, if you look at my video about the bikes, that's, I mean, and Google these bikes, these are Citibank bikes. Um, and you can also YouTube Berkeley Bank uh, Bar Barclays Bank uh, bikes in London they're the same and these bikes are $15 a month and you can drive from one place to another so you take a motor a bike and you take a bike and leave a bike and you don't have to leave a half hour and you don't have to for example if somebody wants to start this business it's not very expensive it's around $800 to $1000 per bike if you want to get into this, you can add Gentleman Kamran CH from my Facebook. He will be happy to help you sell you the solution in whichever city you are. I think Sialkot should think into it. Lahore should think into it. Karachi might want to think into it. Um, and it's a very good venture for Citibank in Pakistan or, you know, like uh, any bank or any... Which company would it be? Coke maybe? You know, it'll be good for branding for them to have a Coke bike or Pepsi bike. Like, uh, sure. and they will they will really uh, be doing help to people. And this part of the New York is uh, used to be cheap part. Um, factory shady, I guess. Todd, what do you Can think? I have a Yasser's Brost bike? Uh, a what? Yasser Brost? Yasser Brost. Yasser Brost is one of my favorite chicken places oh. it's in Lahore oh, okay. so if I if I have a bike it'll be a Yasser Brost bike okay just to promote uh, their great chicken sure you're already promoting them right that's right if you're in Lahore Yasser Brost and it's 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 just awesome yeah and this is coming from this guy okay so he knows what he's talking about <laughs> he hey no it's Pakistan that's Pakistan's fault because <laughs> I came to Pakistan at 200 pounds and now I weigh 310 <laughs> because the Pakistani Kana is too much Mazadar and Laziz <laughs> And everybody likes to feed the Gora, especially <laughs> when I'm in Swat or Banu or Charsada or one of those places in KPK. They're even more like, uh, you know, you can't have just one plate. They, you have to have two or three. And then, uh, you know, but it's great food. And that's why I've, I've gotten such a big, you know, gotten so big. You're fine. Look at those buildings. Those are cute. These are newer buildings, I guess. What part? Are we in the west side now? Yeah, trying to hit the uh, tunnel? Lincoln Tunnel. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And again, that's Empire State Building over there, if you can see it. And that's a guy with a chair in his head. officer told me to go this way and uh, unfortunately that's not the way I needed to go but he ordered me that way so I had to go it's a police wala what to do Hopefully they're watching me go into the tunnel. Dun 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 dun. Is this it? It appears to be. Huh. So the tunnel is probably going to charge us on the way back, I guess. Uh, yeah, we, we don't pay out. You only pay going in. I guess they do that to save time. You, know, you, just, you just pay for everything when you go in. Yeah. And then when you go out, it's basically uh, already paid. So we're going into the Lincoln Tunnel. 
that's I guess one of the new buildings again. It's a DHL building. All yellow. Yeah, it looks like DHL to me. Yeah, it it said DHL, but it looks like Achacha. a self storage service. Achacha. Yeah. Maybe it's DHL self storage. Maybe. Maybe they started that. Please tell him try to motivate us. I don't believe in motivation anymore, buddy. I believe in inspiration. Let him inspire you. Let him, um, you know, what do you think? Yeah, I'm trying my best. Yeah. Just see what he's doing. If Agora can come out from, from the U.S. And if you get a big group has, together, yeah. I can go speak to the group. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you at your school or something, you get a big group together, yeah. I'll come and talk. I've done a lot of that in Pakistan, and uh, I've always had a great time, and the kids seem to always have a great time. Yeah. We play a little music, we do a little talking, we answer some questions, we have a good time. 